in for a long that, time. Yeah. I remember one officer, officer from England say, oh, the ought for me to go to jail, and like the ought for me to get pregnant. I feel like visiting him and say, you being somebody's bitch, you know, maybe you're going to get pregnant? I won't do it. But anyhow, I'm here to pay respect to the courageous family of Ocean and the friends and allies of Alex Nieto, friends of Danila Serrano Garcia, friends of Errol Chen, Kenneth Harding. Something very important is happening here. You can look around you. You see all ages, the rainbow of all nationalities. It's happening now. But let me make no mistake about it. It's POC leadership. People of color are leading and responsible white allies are there for us. Thank you. Thank you, Misha. I'd like to uh, like to like to call up right now Al Osorio from the Kenneth Harding Foundation to say a few words. Ooh. Thank you very much. First, I'd like to say justice for Shane Evans. Justice for Shane Evans. Uh, the Kenneth Harding Jr. Foundation stands in solidarity with, with all of you. I wish I could offer some words of wisdom. I wish there was some way I could say something to take away the pain of the O'Shane Evans family. I, I don't have any, any words. All I can say is the Kenneth Harding Foundation will ride with you till the end. We will be with you until justice is served. Vidas afroamericanos importadas, vidas Latinos importadas, black and brown lives matter, black and brown unity, la unidad afroamericano y latino should be one of our main focuses, we have to work together, juntos somos poderosos, we are far more powerful together, we can make the police fear us if we can all unite. I don't have much else to say other than uh, todo poder al pueblo, all power to the people. Thank you. Power to the people! 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 Thank you, Al. That's Al Osorio from the Kenneth Harding Jr. Foundation. Uh, next up, I'd like to call up Damon Richardson from Answer. Cover walking around this motherfucker. If you ain't seen them, when well, you see them, give them a good shout out. They love to put the undercovers with us. They love to try to disrupt these movements. That's their favorite thing to do. Going all the way back to the 60s, going back to the 50s, going back to the 40s, going back to the very moment they stepped on this continent and they started slaughtering the Native Americans and they brought my people over to build their houses, to grow their cotton. They have constantly put their people in our, in our community to disrupt our movements. Do all that. So I just want to say to the undercover out there, do a big fuck you and to the Oakland Police Department, to the San Francisco Police Department, to every police department across the United States. Because we need people. We're not taking this no more. And I know that's a cliche saying. To say we're not taking it no more, that's a cliche saying. But we need to take, we need to take that saying. We, we really have to apply that to the now to the every single day, that we cannot take this anymore, that we will be out here every single day, every single hour, every single minute, every single second, until we have justice. And when I say justice, I don't just mean one cop going to jail. I just don't mean two cops going to jail. I mean the whole system going down. I mean the mayors and the governors and the senators and the congressmen and the president and the councilors, all of them going down. Once we have that, then we will have justice. Then we will have justice. Once we see the mayors in prison with the stupid looks on their faces for all the years of their corruption, for all the years of backing murderers, 
like the man who killed O'Shane Evans, like the man who killed Eric Garner, like the man who killed Oscar Grant. Backing those men. If you back them, you are an enemy to the people. You are an enemy to the movement, and we are going to go after you. We are not going to have any mercy on you. And when I say mercy, I don't mean violence. I don't mean violence when I say no mercy. I mean we are going to be harmless in the sense that when we when we overthrow this system, when we get rid of you, no, 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 we're not just, we're not just going to throw you in prison. We're going to put you in the community so you can see the look on the people's faces that you tortured for all those years. You can see the look on their faces. And when they smile at you, when they smile at you, and they say, yes, the last are now first, you stupid motherfucker, and you are now last. You are now last because of your corruption. Because of your corruption, you are now in the place that you are. And we're going to do the same thing to the police officers. They, they love to say to us that they are here to protect and serve. The police do not protect and serve us. The only thing they sell us with are warrants, batons, and bullets, and prisons. That is the only thing they serve us with. That's the only thing they ever serve us with. But they protect the elite. They protect the rich. That is who they protect. That is who to protect and serve is for. And so since that is the case, and since that is the case, since, you're not, since you are not here to protect nor serve us, we are not going to have any mercy on you either, and the people who back you, and the presidents, and the governors, and anyone, any right-wing conservative, or any liberal, any liberal who backs the police, we are not going to have any mercy on any of you. This is our community. It's always been our community. You're not going to come here. You're not going to continue to shoot our people. You're not going to continue to ru ruffle our people into prisons. We're not going to stand for that shit anymore. We are not going to stand for that. We are going to be out here every single day. Let's make a promise to ourselves that this is going to happen every single day. That we are going to shut down the freeways. That we are going to shut down the ports. Anything that is economically viable to this country, we are going to shut it down. And we are going to shut it down every single day because we ain't got shit anyway. So who cares if it gets shut down? So let's like to thank all of you and just if you can look at the, the photos and, and that and that, even though all those, all those faces, all those beautiful faces on there, that's nothing compared to how many people have actually been killed. Imagine if you made a, a banner for every single person in the United States that's been killed by the police. Imagine how large that would be. That's just a handful. That's probably 1% of the brothers and sisters who have been murdered by the police department across this country. That's probably 1% of it. So this is a huge, a huge, huge epidemic going on in our country that we need to stop. That we as a community need to come together. We need to come together, to come together in the spirit of our ancestors. We need to come together in the spirit of them because they understood that a revolution does not happen overnight. They understood that this is a lifetime journey. If you are new to this, you, if you are new to this, I hate to tell you this, but we are not going to have justice in a week. You are in for a lifetime journey. You are in for a lifetime mission, and you need to be prepared for that. I'm going to be 80 years old still out here fighting for this shit because it's a lifetime thing. I've given my life and my blood for that. You need to give your life and your blood for that. You need to join something. If you don't want to join something, you need to make your own organization. You and your friends get together and start something and start something. This needs to happen. This needs to happen. If you want the killings to stop, we have to get together. That's the only way it's ever going to stop. So fist up! Fist up! Fight back! Fist Hello. I just want to say, I just want to ask everybody that's out here, do you have any friends that ever got killed by the cops for no reason? For no fucking reason. Okay? Can I see some hands up? I do. I don't even want to say no names right now, but I have like five motherfuckers, excuse my name, I have five friends that's been killed by the cop for no reason. You know that. I talked about that already. Anyway, it's, it's bad, okay, it's bad. And this is just me, okay, out of, out of uh, like 4,000 people in Oakland, and... Over, what, goddamn, eight million people in the building.